Hi everybody, I just want to share some general information with you about a home surveillance system that I have uh, that I purchased at the end of 2012. I purchased six of these IP cameras and I purchased an NVR which is a network video recorder uh, two or three months after that fact. Uh, this is not really review, this is just general information so if you're not interested in this by any stretch by all means just tune out. But I wanted to come up with a good, reasonably priced, and I use that term loosely because these systems can get very, very costly very quick for anything that is of, of a decent quality. Uh, I landed on, after much research, this particular camera. Everything I'm showing here is a Dahua, really a Dahua brand, but they've been rebadged because Dahua d does not sell in the U.S. Uh, they sell over in Europe somewhere, I believe, or Asia, I believe. Uh, so anyway, this is a 1.3 megapixel camera. It's power over Ethernet capable. Uh, that means you can send the power to the device through the network cable when it's plugged in, but you need to use a power over Ethernet switch or a PoE injector. You can do your own homework on that. It does have a pigtail here where you could use a, a wall wart, is what I call them, but a power supply. But that's not real friendly to use because you need one close to the device and these are mounted outside. These are weatherproof cameras and they also have night vision which does surprisingly well. Uh, I landed on this one because of uh, cost versus performance and I'm completely satisfied with them. I just need to move on and get more of mine installed. So I'm kind of behind the eight ball. Now I purchased everything at EmpireSecurityCameras.com I'm not sure if they still offer this stuff the way I have it, but that's where I got it just for reference. Uh, they're not cheap. You know, I paid $913 for six of these cameras. So $152 a piece, and I did really well at that time to do that. Uh, the network video recorder was $272, but it comes without hard drives. So to load up two, two terabyte. RE or RAID edition Western Digital drives uh, that was another four hundred dollars so excluding any PoE switches because I use the switches I use are not required you know I use a Cisco uh, business class switch in the small business market and you know they're about four hundred and fifty dollars a piece and I have three of those so I'm excluding the cost out of this equation so my grand total on this was fifteen eighty five sixty eight which seems outrageous for what it is uh, but these are digital they run over my network uh, everything is self-contained it records this that and the other it's everything I wanted and they're not analog cameras you know so I chose the IP route so that's what I've got in it uh, these are mounted outdoors and they have a little base on them obviously where you can feed your wire out. Uh, I do not like things like this hanging out into the atmosphere so I've developed my own system to secure these to a box and get these in a rain tight enclosure and I'll, I'll show that momentarily. So this is like I said just general information for those that may wish to know something. I am not a surveillance guru but I'm completely satisfied with my purchases. On Here is a quick shot of the NVR for my surveillance system. Uh, this is the tower version and I wanted it because it was more space saving as opposed to one you know that is a desktop type version that looks like a, a DVR or a VCR. Uh, so it's fairly basic you know I have the two hard drives loaded here, power switch, this runs down to my mouse that green cable right there is my HDMI that runs down to the TV set which is sitting right here so I can monitor it if I choose to. One network cable and one power adapter that plugs in the back. Uh, you can get these in multiple channels you, from 4, 8, 16, 32. Uh, I chose a 16 so I could grow into it instead of an 8 where I would grow out of it. So I can add cameras later if I choose to, which is why I went this direction. 
some of these will actually come with the PoE switches built in and there'll be extra ports on the back where you can plug the cameras directly into it. For some odd reason, even this 16 channel version, if you got the one with the PoE switch built in, it only had four ports on the back, even though it's capable of handling 16 channels. So I didn't really like that and it wasn't going to work for me since I had my other PoE switches anyway. So I went this direction to save a few bucks. Okay, well here's the boxes I'm using and how I'm mounting my cameras. Uh, this is a 4x4x2 four by four by uh, rain tight enclosure I picked up at Lowe's or Home Depot. I think they're five or six bucks a pop. Uh, but the first thing I did was came in to the middle of the box which would be two inches and I came down three eighths of an inch to this edge and I used a 1564 <clears throat> drill and ran in here and then just took my hacksaw and cut out a notch right here. So what that will allow me to do once my camera and cable is hooked up I can tuck it in the box and I've just simply screwed the camera with the screws that came with it down to the lid. So I'm working past the camera here. I'll try to tuck this in. So something about like that. Got a little piece hanging me up. There we go. And then put the screws in and you're ready to go. And since usually you would mount these underneath an eave, uh, there's really no problem with water getting into it. Or if you're coming down on the slope, uh, just put this to the back. Or you could run it down to the bottom and water could not get in. So I've not had a problem to date, but this is the way I mount my cameras outside. Uh, I don't like this being exposed to the element. So I put it up in here and mount them up run my cables and then right, well, here's a quick shot of this one mounted I need to finish running my cable and then aim it and it'll be ready to roll All right, here's a quick shot of the multi-view screen you can see I've got four cameras showing right now uh, I need to rearrange these because I'm just now kind of adding more to it but this one's the left side of my trailer this is the right side of my trailer there's my front porch and then my back porch and part of the yard so I get a pretty good view right there. There goes my wife. <laughs> and my child. <laughs> so it's kind of good too because I can monitor the baby if she's out in the yard. She's about three now, a little over three. All right, well it's night time now and I'm in a four view screen here. I only have four cameras mounted. I need to mount the other two uh, and then I'll change it but I just wanted to show you how well the night vision works on it I can double click one and bring it up full screen there goes a car I saw the tail end of a cat running down here but I'm not sure how far that is across the road there but you can see I can see quite a great distance and then double click it and it'll put it back in and I can go to this one there's the other side And of course the front porch you know etc etc but this thing is pretty cool because I have the TV in my shop here by my computer and I can just glance uh, I can see when somebody's coming up to the door because I'm out here making noise or whatnot I can see if somebody's coming down the drive and now I'm starting to cover the backyard so I can monitor my child but there are some other things in here which are pretty cool uh, detect which is what I'm using these cameras are not recording 24 7 I have them set up to record on motion so for example channel 1 I can select a region and it's kinda hard to see at night but this red area here is everything that will be recorded if it detects motion and you can set the sensitivity on it sometimes it will record something that's just not there it may be a, a, a bird or something like that uh, and then the regions here that you can still see exposed it does not record and that's basically the road you know I don't care to record cars driving by and then I can do the same thing on each of them
so you can see this I've got a lot carved out of this one that won't record and it just goes on and on and on so that way I'm not constantly recording stuff I'm really only seeing when there is some form of activity which it may be nothing uh, you can also set up alerts when it does do something it will take a snapshot and email it to you it's pretty cool stuff now you don't have to have the NVR like this you can just use uh, one camera and then use your computer and access it through a web page uh, and you know look at look at it that way and you can actually record from it as well or you could get an open source program uh, there's one called iSpy which I played around with which is pretty cool you can run it on your computer uh, and you know not need the NVR but this is just my choice like I said and there's more views you know I could go five to eight view one I could view eight cameras one to eight and then double click one of these over here and it'll bring it into the main screen and you can just kind of flip around to them you know just different options you know but at this stage I've only got four cameras so I'm just using the simple view here's another cool thing that I can do with it I've opened up access through my firewall so while, while I'm away on my smartphone I'm actually looking at my cameras and I can scroll through all my cameras and monitor my home when I'm not even here. That was a general overview on my surveillance system. There are many, many different options and many different ways to go. This is just the one I chose. Uh, I cannot answer any questions about anything related to security systems outside of what I have specifically. Uh, I did a lot of research and joined a forum or two ask questions, gained information, and then finalized my decision based on all my research. But I have honestly forgotten 99% of everything I ever knew about this. This was a task-oriented project I went into to come up with something for me. But I am completely satisfied with what I have discovered. You know, there are certainly more inexpensive solutions and there are certainly more expensive solutions. Uh, I'm completely satisfied with the amount of money I spent and all in all the system works absolutely beautifully for me. So just some general information for you guys. Thanks for watching and good luck.